Well, he better talk on it. But Jay didn't chase there to make the fans them know what really are going on. Blessings Nation, and now welcome to the channel. Your man Jaden Chase, and then I want to wake up bring on another reasoning upon the topic of current affairs. So if you're new to the channel, well, I'm suggesting that you click the subscribe icon and, of course, let your voice be heard. Like and share the video, and yes, drop a comment in the comment section. Now, let's get right into the reasoning. Now, Nation, this is definitely not a good look for the Andrew Holness led administration and heads of the security forces. As the United States, has named an 18-year veteran of the Jamaica Constabulary Force as the head of a criminal organization with several known bases of operation both in the US and out there in the Jamaican island, which is a major failure on the part of the Jamaican authorities. If Allen was not on their radar, the United States have stated that numerous agencies, both state and federal, including Homeland Security, the U.S. Postal Inspection Service, along with others, have been investigating Allen. They have stated that Allen left Jamaican shores approximately 1,350 grams undetected and what U.S. Customs and Border Protection is reporting is that they discovered the contraband on Allen even before they discovered that she had the pallets or pellets rather. And remember, the former police commissioner was also in trouble with the states as they stated that a close individual, an individual who kept strong ties with the then police commissioner was also involved in the same type of art activities and with the talk of corruption and its extended reach to the highest levels of government we have pointed out there is no way the administration or any administration can erase from the memories of the people the numerous occasions where elected officials were caught breaking the law. The courts in Jamaica currently have the former Minister of Education on the books. And I know we can't nothing about it. The focus seems to be on the black man trial. But we'll see what the officer said to the people when that is completed. And also remember, when we just said the Wolipa posted them on social media, missing this person, that person, this youth, that youth. Remember, it was the U.S. State Department who stated that there are clandestine organizations operating out of the Caribbean. They've never single out Jamaica. They say across the Caribbean. But what was interesting is that they stated that members of the security forces of these Caribbean islands were involved and members of these clandestine organizations. Clearly, they must say Allen are the leader of one of them. And of course, that could bring into question are other members of the security forces members of her organization? And with her now overseas in custody, is it far fetched to say that someone else has now taken over that organization and is still business as usual? Because the organization is not on the radar of law enforcement out there on the island. And the fact that the leader was an 18-year veteran of the police, then that means that the members are act with impunity. They're not responsible for the law. They are do as them like out there. No wonder the people out there on the island that say crime and violence is an issue of major concern. And the fact that the tactics and techniques being used by the security forces have yielded little to no results. Because the investigation now go on. A military style tactics. Hence the military out there with them as well. Them seem to have policing backwards out there in the island. SWAT and these types of units. Our last resort. 
it is almost like the leaders of the security forces don't remember that these are urban communities and standoff with criminals should be a last resort because innocent people in the vicinity people who now have nothing to do with them and their operations you have schools business places law-abiding citizens reside in these communities they need new techniques new tactics the proper investigations are done the proper evidence is gathered these individuals can be apprehended evidence can be presented and it can reach the trial stage without it even have to go through that and while the people vision and i work towards a better jamaica yes we still know say it is what it is and there are scenarios where you know a confrontation will take place we know it go that's not unique to the caribbean tap no way in the first world too. tap no every way i'm gonna feel like a new approach is needed because at the end of the day majority of these times and the all these individuals there are no strong evidence against them and they are remanded and released in even Allen's case, here what? Numerous agencies worked together and watched and gathered evidence against her. When the trial started, you got so much evidence they have against her. And you can see this is why they got convict. Aside from the evidence, they actually find Panar. You know it go. But you got so much other evidence was gathered over the time of them looking to her and her actions while she was a member. Of the security forces and them never they look into her why because them busy are put communities under states of emergency the system is all about sending a message like you know a community and stopping movement going to the communities covering some weapons and then i not go on for a couple of weeks and then them leave and the things start back is that is that a result is that a good result Yes, it's a result, but is that what the people might look for? No. The people might look for the individuals who seem to go out of them way to terrorize the entire community with no clear objective in mind. Just senseless behavior, you know, crime and violence. The people want these individuals removed. But by the law, TVJ used to have an interesting program. That individual thinking past. But they used to go into the communities them. And they used to talk to the people. Them, and hear the issues from the people them, themselves. I think more that needs to start happening. Because there's a clear disconnect between what the people them want and what is assumed by elected officials so that the people them want. And the people them need that one on one opportunity to talk. Because it's a different thing when you talk about doing the campaign. Even for elected officials, them in that mood, they were, you know. A campaign, them a campaign. It's different from when they already have the, the seat and the people might talk to them and I said, This is what they want. These are the results what they might look for. Gone are the days where the people must have asked for road. And truth be told, the people they must ask for them road and some of them road they still not forward all now. But the needs and the wants of the people now are now unique. I feel like there's some form of disconnect. I walk on with even issues of security show that. You know what I mean? But talk to me nation, because this is definitely not a good look for the administration. You know what I mean? Are the heads of the security forces. You know the sentiments. Well, first and foremost, if you're new to the channel, just a pass through. But you like the reason, and of course, you like the point of view. Well, I'm suggesting that you click the subscribe icon and then the bell icon and put it on all. And this is how you know will be notified of all fresh content as soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here upon the platform. The like icon is also in close proximity to the share icon. Drop a like and boost a share. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell them sister and them brother them for check out the channel, check out the reasoning, join the discussion. The comment section of 24 7 it never lack yet. Just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines. But other than that, drop your thoughts, your comments, and yes, your opinions there. Them still go charge all in pan all counts. That are some whole heap of years. But what is more shocking is that they are saying that they had her on their radars. And based on the reports and the reactions, it seems like 
authorities out there on the island did not have her on their radar. And for all they knew, she was a law-abiding citizen. 